Hi, I'm Paul Gross. I'm an extension educator for Michigan State University, working in cover crops and soil health in central Michigan. I'm at the North Central Region Research Site, north of St. John's, talking about cover crops and, and how they might fit into your system. A lot of different reasons people use cover crops, but the example we're standing in here is a multi-species mix. Uh, we have two multi-species mixes here. And one of the things I want to spend just a minute about is how cover crops done well can really help you manage weeds. You know, with the weed resistant issues that we have uh, going around uh, the Midwest and the United States, I think it's important to think about cover crops as one of the tools that you might have in your toolbox to help manage resistant weeds. And when I, when I talk about that, I look in, in the front of me here, we have a, a cover crop mix, but it's not density. The, the species might not be the ones that, uh, that we might have chosen. Uh, the planting rate might have been a little bit different. And you can see the open ground. You can actually see weed species growing in here. But as we get out into this, this is a, a five and six way mix uh, with sunflowers. It has purple top turnip. It has oilseed radish. Uh, we have cow peas. Uh, but we have a, a mix that's really robust, very lush growth, and if you can see, it's, it's pretty much suppressed all the weeds in this, in this particular system. So that's just another way, another item, another reason to use cover crops in your system. It can help suppress weeds along with adding to the biological communities and the soil health, the soil diversity that we're looking for, for a highly productive soils.